by way of Aki TV. This is Skip Brown, and I'm over here with the WBC lightweight champion of the world, Devin, the Dream Painty. How you doing, champ? I'm doing great. All right, you're fighting the Narias on May 29th on the zone. How's the preparation for that going? Uh, preparation is great. Uh, I feel great. Um, we just fight week now, so we be close, yeah. and uh, I can't wait for Saturday night. All right, Linares have more KOs than you have fights, basically. How exciting is it to finally have the opportunity to go up against one of the best lightweights in the world, as known as the boogeyman of the sport? Uh, it feels great. I'm happy that you, know, that you actually acknowledge that he has more knockouts than I have fights because the people are trying to write it off like he's just a, like he's just a stepping stone or he's just a slouch or anything like that, but they don't understand on, on paper that he's by far my toughest to test. Fighters like Ryan Garcia and Doug Tim, so I'm happy that you know you acknowledge that, and uh, I look forward to going there and uh, putting on a great performance and showcasing everything that I made of. All right, compare his style, you know, to like Gamboa's. Um, compare Gamboa, styles, yeah. Gamboa was more like on the end of his, the end of his career. Lenara still has a lot left. He's coming to win. He's gonna come in there and you know, fight his best. He's not coming in there to just survive. So that's why this fight is so good and important. And, and um, I can't wait. Devin is looking, he's looking marvelous, man. He hasn't looked this good in forever. I mean, he's probably looking better than he's ever looked. He's healthy, both uh, mentally, spiritually, physically. It's just a great place that we're in right now. Um, him as a fighter and us as a family as well. So I don't have uh, anything but good things to say about how he's doing right now. For us to, to get uh, as many of our fans and, and friends and family members in Vegas, it means everything. This is Devin's first time fighting, of course, as a world champion in Vegas. But, I mean, it's his first time fighting since the Manny Pacquiao, Timothy Bradley undercard fight that he was on. So we're just anxious to uh, May 29th to come around and just looking forward to him putting on a great performance. Obviously, Linares is a veteran in the game, like you pointed out. He was... I think the only fighter that dropped Lomachenko, he also beat Luke Campbell and dropped Luke Campbell. So with that being said, looking at Linares, for the first time, it seemed like Devin Haney, I won't say he's the underdog, but a lot of people are picking Linares to beat him. Um, well, only only place that they're going to pick Linares to beat him is in Las Vegas, where the odds might stand a chance for them to hit the lottery or something like that. You know what I mean? But I don't think anyone is picking picking Linares straight up. But if they are, then you know, that's great for us because what we wanted to do was was to get into a fight that everyone, you know, felt that going into it, it was going to be a tough fight. Going into it, that we were going to have doubters. And this is the kind of fight that we were looking for. You know, so shout out to Team Linares. Thank you to them for uh, raising their hand and stepping up.